Hello and welcome to Storytime with Mr. Brown. Today's story is Charlie Cook's favourite book by Do uh, Julia Donaldson and Axel Schaefer. Once upon a time there was a boy called Charlie Cook who curled up in a cosy chair and read his favourite book. About a leaky pirate ship which very nearly sank and a pirate chief who got the blame and had to walk the plank. The chief swam to an island and went digging with his hook. At last he found a treasure chest and it, in it was a book. About a girl called Goldilocks and three indignant bears who cried, Who's had all our porridge? Who's been sitting in our chairs? They went into the bedroom and baby bear said, Look! She's in my bed and what is more, she's got my favourite book. About Sir Pil C. Pilkington, a bold and fearless knight, who told the dragon, Wait, I'm not quite ready for a fight. You must hear this one first. And then his armour clanked and shook as he read aloud a joke he'd found inside his favourite book. About Rowena Redalock, a very well-read frog, who jumped up on a lily pad and jumped up on a log, then jumped into the library, which stood beside the brook, and went read it, read it, read it, as she jumped upon her book. About an oak tree full of birds, each bird had built a nest, and they had a competition to decide which one was best. They chose an owl to judge it, and the winner was a rook whose nest was lined with pages from his favourite book. About a girl who saw a flying saucer in the sky. Some small green men were in it, and they waved as they flew by. She tugged her mother's sleeve and said, Look, Mum, what I've just seen. But Mum said, Shh, I'm trying to read my favourite magazine. About a wicked jewel thief who stole the king's best crown, but then got stuck behind some sheep which slowed his car right down. The king dialed 999 and soon the cops had caught the crook and flung him into prison where he read his favourite book. About a greedy crocodile who got fed up with eating fish and went on to land to try and find him some other kind of dish. He went into a bookshop and he there grew even greedier while reading on page 90 of a large encyclopedia about the biggest birthday cake the world had ever seen a team of royal cake makers had made it for the queen the cake was so delicious that a famous space, uh, spaceman took a slice of it to Jupiter he also took a book about a ghost who glided round a castle every night carrying her hair then giving everyone a fright she kept it up till morning, then she found a shady nook and put her head back on to read her favourite book about a cosy armchair and a boy called Charlie Cook. The end. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you join us again for story time with Mr Brown. Goodbye.